Renewable energy just overtook coal as the single largest source of power this year. I'm Kalila from Money Media, giving you money news for the Caribbean. So, data from global energy think tank Ember revealed that for the first six months of 2025, renewable energy sources generated more electricity than coal that was largely led by the use of solar and wind power. This is the first time that's ever happened. According to Ember, access to solar and wind power has increased significantly. The push is being led by countries like China, India, Pakistan, and Nigeria. On the other hand, during the same period, the U.S. and E.U. actually relied more on fossil fuels. For the U.S., electricity demand grew faster than clean energy output, which increased the reliance on fossil fuels. While in the E.U., months of weak wind and hydropower performance led to a rise in coal and gas generation. A report from the International Energy Agency, IEA, said the divide is likely to grow wider over the coming years as a result of the policies of the Trump administration. The IEA actually halved its renewable energy growth forecast for this decade. Meanwhile, in Jamaica, we're getting closer to our renewable energy targets. One of the Vision 2030 goals is to have 50% of electricity from renewables by 2030. Now, the government says we're on track to achieve that, but I'm still a bit skeptical. 2030 is just five years away, and so far we only have about 12% of our power mix coming from renewables. But to be fair, that is up from the low single digits earlier in the decade. Plus, there's a long list of projects in the pipeline. Wigton Energy has approvals for a multi-billion dollar solar farm in Clarendon. Energy Minister Daryl Vaz said another 100 megawatts of renewables are set to come on on stream during the current financial year. That would bring the total to 17%. Then another 220 megawatts in 2027-28 will bring the total to 27%. By 2028, he said we'll be at 33%. Then the generation procurement entity will go back to market for another 300 megawatts, and that will bring the country to 50% by 2030. But keep in mind, these projects haven't even gone to market yet, much less started building. So 2030, hmm, I don't know. But we are making progress, and based on these new developments, we may need to speed things up. And you may want to consider energy, especially renewable energy, as part of your portfolio. And that's the bottom line. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to know how to invest in energy and other lucrative industries, go to moneymissionja.com for the link to my workbook and all of our courses. Let's get this money. Let's get this money. <laughs>